In this video, I'm going to be covering the events blocks and the control blocks. Welcome to DabMC. If you are new to this channel, I post regular videos on Minecraft, Scratch Programming and gaming videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Also, click the bell so you never miss a video. In the last episode, we covered the sound blocks and the last part of looks. So uh, yeah, let's get started with the events blocks. The first block here we have is when green flag clicked. When green flag clicked is they're both the same blocks. So you must have seen this and I tell you exactly what it does. First of all, when you click this button, when you click this, it says, it all, it says when green flag clicked, which means when this is clicked, it will activate this. And you know what it activates? It activates subscribe to DabMC and like this video. You have to do it. You have to do it. Or you'll tap on your face because he's a master dabbing cat. Not just a normal dabbing cat, a master dabbing cat. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Better obey him, otherwise he'll start dabbing on you. So, make sure he doesn't do that. Also, I did, in the last episode, I did create Mr. Apple.lol, for example. Um, yeah. He's pretty useless right now, but he'll be he won't be useless later. Next, we have when space key press. When space space key press, it basically means you basically means when any key is pressed, such as a power down a right and right, all of the alphabet zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know, you have all of these different types you can choose. I'm gonna choose space, and then I'm going to do something. I am going to just change it, change color effects by 25, okay? So when I click space, it will change it, as you can see. Every time I click space, it will change. And it doesn't have to be space, it can be T, and I mean S. And then every time I click S, eh? oh, not space, S, it changes, see? S, S, S. You can actually hold it. Yeah, that's a good thing about it. And then you can be like, I want it to be nine. You're like, -na 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 so that's what this block does. Next, we have the when the sprite is clicked. This basically means when this when this master dabbing cat is clicked, something will happen. For example, if I do if I just make it, let's say, if I just change world effects by a hundred, one that, and then if I just click it, oh my god, dude, how how much will it get? World, if I do this, oh my god. Oh yeah, we're not making, we're not mucking around like that. Let's say change world effects by, let's say I just do this. And then I just do control. This, we'll get to this block later. But I'm just going to add it and I'll explain it later. Then after that, we're going to take clear graf graphic effects, which we did explain. And then every time I click this sprite, see, and then back to normal. And if I do it again, if I continue clicking on it, it'll eventually lead to a point. Yeah, uh, but it's like one, not even, it's like cool, but as well as not cool. Next, we have in the events blocks, we have the when backdrop switches to backdrop one. Uh, then I'm going to add one more backdrop. As you know, I did explain about the backdrops. You know, not backdrops. Sprites, but backdrops are the same thing. If you don't know what a backdrop is, it's basically like, you know, behind the scene. Not kind of behind the scene, but it's like, yeah. Um, which one? Savannah, pool, playfield, hayfield, hill. Okay, I'm not going to mess around with stuff. I'm just going to choose, um, I'm just going to go to all. And I'm just going to choose the Arctic, okay? So if I say when Arc when backdrop switches to Arctic, then I will hide it. 
So that means when I just, um, so I need to do a little bit of coding for this to actually work, but I will tell you how to do the coding. First, I need to do when a red flag is clicked, and then I need to do, I need to go back up here into looks and then switch back up to Arctic. Wait, 0.5 of a second. 0.5. Okay, let me just stop this and let me switch it back to a, to the backdrop. I need back. Dude, don't save it. Uh, let's just switch it, switch it to a plain backdrop, okay? Now if I click this and I went, see, it disappeared. And then it, it, it save. Yeah, there you go. That's what that block does. Next, we have the loudness. This basically means like how loud it is. For example, we, it can be like a loudness. When loudness is negative less than 10, then you just need to do some scripting. Or you can do when time is less than 10, 10 min, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, minutes, whatever. And then after that, it's going to like, you can put a code, for example, I can say when, I can't really do it because I can't like access the microphone here, but if, but you can actually try it out. Every when you click it, it'll actually come up with like, do you want to use microphone? Actually, it's right here. See, connection is secure. Okay. Now, next we have the when I receive message. This basically means when you set, send a new message. For example, sub and like, subscribe and like to the video. Then instead of when green flag clicked, I went to do when green flag clicked. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to put this here in this script. And then I'm going to bring this broadcast message, which basically means like because master Dab like and subs like subscribe and like WMC is here. Then every time if I just click this and if I just wait 0.2 seconds. So let's say 0.2. And I click it and it's like he immediately activates. So let's say 0.5 because I want to test it. See, it's like this. So like every time, it's just like every time you click the green flag, it broadcasts this sub. Oh, wait, no. It's opposite way. It's like this. So I'll wait 0.5 seconds and it'll be like subscribe and like to them. Subscribe to them, see, and like this video. That's what that does. I'm not going to remove it. I'm going to remove this point five. Next, in the events blocks, we have broadcast message one and wait. It's basically the same thing, except you're waiting. Now we have finished the events. That was pretty easy. Next, we have the control. This wait one second, I mean, you pretty much guessed it. Wait seconds. You can change it to be like 100,000 billion, you know. You can mess around with the settings. Next, we have repeat 10 times. This basically means when you are, for example, motion, if I just put this here, and I just take when green flag clicked, if I just duplicate it, and I just remove this shab and like, and if I just do this, and I just get a weight point, point 0.2, if I just do this, it'll keep moving every 0.2 seconds for 10 times. And it'll stop. You can actually make it anything, for example, 123, you know, you can do it that number. You can do it 10. I'm gonna do it once. Oh, wow, literally once, and it goes all the way out to the edge screen. I'm pretty sure if you do it, it'll probably go somewhere else. I'm gonna do neg. Get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This basically means you'll go left, and it just went left, right. Now I'm going to do ten steps. I'll repeat that. 
oh, ten times, and then I click this, and like, bop, 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 bop. I'm going every ten seconds. Next, we have the the forever. It basically means I'll I'll do this forever. For example, if I move this here. Oh, it won't work because I, it doesn't have green flag attached. Make sure every time you're trying to do scripting, it has to have a green, when green flag clicked or any of the, of the events blocks. has to start with the events blocks or my blocks, which we will get to later very, very soon. And if I just click this, it will keep on going. See, it's forever. It's just going forever. And if I just bring this back here, You'd be like, ba -ba 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 -ba. just marching along the screen like that. It's just like, uh, yeah, and then you can eventually just stop it when you don't want it, and that's it. Great, done. Next, we have if then. This is like more of the complicated stuff, so when I say complicated, once we get to like rest of these blocks, I might explain it, but I want to tell you what I know about these if then blocks for example let's say okay let's say we go here and let's say we want to do if it is touching if key space is pressed okay let's say if key space is pressed then we need to motion then let's say we need to change world effects by not that much by a hundred and then so that means if I just do this and then if I do that and then I just click this and like oh wait I'm kicking space oh I know why I need the forever loop to be there okay you can actually do this forever loop and like this and then if I just click it again See, it just starts whirling. It's like, oh my god! And then after that, once you're fed up with it, you can just click that, and it'll set back to normal. Great. Yeah, that's exactly what you can do. Next, we have in the control blocks, we have the if then else. This basically means it's like more complicated stuff. For example, if the key space is pressed, then change world effects by a hundred. Else. Otherwise, move 10 steps. This is what that is, okay? Then if I just click this, if I just do a forever loop, I know it may, it may seem like a lot of code to you, but once you actually know how to do coding, it's actually very, very little. I'm not, I'm not lying, it actually is. If I just click it, and then it'll just be, see, see, see? Otherwise, it'll just spin. That actually looks kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. And if I just click this, and will go back to normal. Next, we have... Actually, I need to do a little bit of coding. I just need it when the green flag is clicked. Go... Actually, no. Duplicate that. No. Duplicate. And then I just need to remove it. Okay, there we go. Now, next, we have the wait until. This basically means we wait until something happens for example wait until let's say if we go to operators let's say um this is actually more complicated stuff for example we need to understand all of this before we actually get to it um let me just show you something let's say if mouse x wait until let's get up, we need some blocks let's say equals okay let's get that block and then we do mouse x equals actually no 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 mouse y equals to y position equals to mouse y then we just do move 10 steps actually no 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 I'm not actually going to do this script, so let's say that. And it actually won't be to mouse Y, for example, if I put mouse Y over here. Yeah, I don't, it, it, it won't work like this. You have to actually learn ahead of this. So, uh, yeah, that's 
that's what you can do. You can change it. You can do anything with that. Next, after that, we have the repeat until. This is like kind of like repeat ten times, except it's like repeating until this happens. And um, yeah, it's kind of similar to wait until. So yeah. Next, we have stop all. This basically means if everything is running, like pop, 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 pop. It's like that, and then when if you just click this button, everything will stop automatically. You just click, just by the touch of a button, everything will stop. And if I play it again, you're like, oh, it's just playing, keep on playing, like, bop, 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 oh, and if I just click stop all, that's what will happen. Next, we have when I start as clone. This basically means when you clone yourself, for example. If I do when I start as a clone forever, um, change X, then I glide one second to random position. Yes, glide one second to random position. But before, 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 before we actually even get to that, we need to create a clone of myself in a script. Let's do it like this, okay? So, and then see, it just created a different copy of it, that's a different copy. And then this is the real one, that's the fake one. That's how you can tell, you just spin it like, Yeah, that's exactly what will happen, and then we stop it, and it will go back to normal. I'm just going to clear all of these empty blocks that we don't need anymore. Yeah, so next, after that, we have delete the clone. This basically means when you have a clone, it will delete it. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, click the bell so you never miss a video. Saying this, bye guys.